Welcome back on this Thirsty Thursday. It's our favorite time of the day. We're going to take a live look right now outside at the Stoller Family Estate. Beautiful day in Dayton. Just looks like a postcard there. It does. It kind of always does, though. It always does. No matter the weather. No matter the yes. weather. But, mm -hmm. of course, the winery reopened uh, to guests recently, like most businesses. A lot of changes that visitors need to be aware of yeah. on this beautiful day to go out and go wine tasting. It's going to be popular, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why the Stoller Wine Group came up with a creative way to get the message out. We know you've been away. That's okay. And with the rules out of the way, I think it's time to say. Wine's so great. The trees are here. The chairs are out. So have no fear. It's safety first. You're not alone. We got your back. So welcome. Home. That is former American Idol contestant and local singer Haley Johnson. She helps the Stoller give their customers a big welcome back through this musical production. And joining us live right now to discuss Stoller's reopening is the public spokeswoman, Michelle Kaufman. Good morning, Michelle. Morning, how are you? Oh, I'm just We're jealous. Good. We're jealous you. of you, yeah. Oh, it looks so <laughs> gorgeous out there. I know you guys are just gonna, so many people are gonna wanna go out there and visit. So for people thinking about visiting, what changes are they gonna be seeing at Stoller Family Estate? Yeah, the biggest change that we, uh, that consumers should, should expect when they come out to visit us is that you have to have a reservation to taste now. Um, you can either give us a call or go on our website to book, but you, you must have a reservation to come out and enjoy the wines and the view. Okay, mm. yeah, definitely want to be planning ahead. And is that just so you guys can, can keep track of how many people you have there at a time? Yeah, and just make sure that we can properly accommodate everyone. You know, in, in this new normal that we're settling into, we want to make sure that we have proper spacing between everybody and that we can keep our guests who come out safe, but also our employees safe and our staff. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, that your tasting room is just so gorgeous. How is that going to work now with these these new guidelines? Yeah, you know, we really haven't seen much change as far as that goes. Our, our staff all wears masks when they're here. I've just taken mine off for this interview. Um, when you come in and have your reservation, we ask that you just wait in your car until you receive a text that it's safe to come in the building. And then we will guide you over to your, to your table where all of the wines in your flight will be presented there, which is kind of fun, right? Because there's usually two Pinot Noirs on, on our flight at any given time. So to be able to taste those wines side by side and really notice the difference um, has been really fun and well received by our guests. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And then, yeah, you don't have to worry about crowding anybody at the bar when you go back for your for your next tasting. Mm -hmm. uh, so now I love the, the music video, the musical approach to, to welcoming everybody back. Where did you guys kind of come up with that idea? You know, this video has been the brainchild of our president, Gary Mortensen, as we sat and watched Governor Brown's press conference on reopening. And we thought about, okay, how do we communicate this to guests and even our employees about what the new expectations are? We wanted to do it in a fun way that still communicated how important these things are. And nothing really does that better than a musical. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, Gary's a fun guy. I've, I've met him a few times and I could, <laughs> I could see him thinking up something like that. Hey, we have a couple of bottles on the set right now that yeah. you sent us. So tell us about you know what we have here. It's a, it's a rosé and Absolutely. any summer <laughs> wines that you have out. This is our 2019 Pinot Noir Rosé. Uh, we just released this wine on days like today or yesterday. This is the perfect summer wine. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of salmon, maybe some cheese, a little grilled chicken, and the rosé is perfect. It's super bright and mouth-watering, a uh, little bit like a strawberry lemonade. Oh, yum. Yeah, yeah, I know on those uh, most days out of the year, I am perfectly happy with just like a Pinot Noir, any kind of glass of red, but mm -hmm. on a hot day, yeah. a nice glass of chilled rosé. It just sounds perfect. Mwah, lovely. Rosé all day. Rosé yeah. all day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> How's it been going so far? How are your employees doing? Is everyone feeling good about reopening and bringing people back? Yeah, you know, again, just making sure that people are aware that they need to have a reservation when they come out and taste, that's been the biggest challenge that we've faced so far. But everyone that comes out is so respectful and so excited to be able to get back out and figure out what that new normal looks like. Um, and our, our employees included, they like getting back out there. We, we're in this business because we care about hospitality and because we love to show people a good time. Absolutely. Mm, well, yeah. We appreciate you chatting with us this morning, Michelle. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to make our reservations and yeah. come see you out, out at the winery soon. Can't wait to have you guys. Thanks, Thanks so much.